Epstein anomaly is a disease that affect the trichus valve. The trichus valve, instead of being at the entrance of the right ventricle, it is displaced inside the right ventricular chamber. Replacing the trichus valve in children is not a good option because they tend to outgrow the valve and also a trichus valve prostate degenerate uh, in children. That means that particular patient has to undergo multiple replacement operations. So, and I was in the operating room, I noticed that they could not do the monocost repair because the valve was not mobile. So I decided to mobilize it. The idea was to mobilize all the available trichus valve tissues and then construct a structure from it. And I call that cone because it resembles a cone. As a cone, when the heart squeezes that cone, it closed and does not allow the blood to come back to the right atrium. So the trichus valve functions as a normal valve after the cone procedure. We noticed that some type of Epstein anomaly are not so easy to construct even using the cone concept. As an example of that is when the trichus valve is extremely rotated inside the right ventricle in such a way that is very near the exit of the right ventricle and near the pulmonary valve. So that is difficult because you have to create a new vertex for that cone. I was able to refine my technique and meet that requirement. So that is not a problem anymore and we can repair that too using the cone operation. With the cone procedure, we rarely have to replace the valve. In all my career, I replaced the valve only in a 32 years old patient that I could not repair the valve. That counted in all my career near 300 cases. And this is very important, especially in, in the female patients, if they want to bear uh, children. Because when you do a repair, they can have it normally if they have a good function of the right ventricle. So it's very important to get a good repair in Epstein anomaly, especially in girls if they want to have babies in the future. I'm very happy to be here at the UPMC Children's Hospital because here I have the opportunity to teach the con technique and this is very important to the development of the treatment of Epstein anomaly.